بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ ٹو سی آل آف یو اگین اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود دی انٹرنیشنل انسٹیٹیوشن وچ آر انوالو ود گڈ گورننس ان دا پریویس سیشنس وی بیسکلی ان ڈیٹیل لک ایٹ دا رول آف دا ورلڈ بینک اینڈ آلسو دا رول آف دی آرگنائزیشن اکنامک کاپریشن اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ او ای سی ڈی ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو سی دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین اوتھینٹیکیٹ دا ڈفرینٹ رینڈم فائنڈنگس دیٹ آر کمنگ اباؤٹ کاپریٹ گورننس اینڈ دے فور فار دیٹ اے پراپر میکنزی سروے واز آلسو کنڈکٹیڈ ناؤ وین وی لک ایٹ دی McKinsey survey, uh, there has been a continuing debate among those who hold divergent positions on corporate governance practices, whether there is any quantifiable connection between good corporate governance and the market valuation of the company. So again, uh, this is very important that how do we evaluate a company, what are the different uh, positions available, and then most importantly, what is the monetization of those different interventions. So again, the McKinsey survey uh, basically look at that. In this regard, McKinsey, the International Management Consultant Organization, conducted a survey with a sample size of 188 companies from six emerging markets. The survey was done to determine the correlation between good corporate governance and the market valuation of the company. And this was very revealing and again led to a lot of recalibration and realignment in the context of corporate governance to make it more effective and also to ensure that the inherent value system which exists, that also uh, is not uh, given up or disturbed. Now, uh, when we Uh, look at this way, the results of the survey pointed out to a positive uh, correlation between the two. In short, good corporate governance increases market valuation in the following ways. Uh, increasing financial performance, transparency of dealing uh, and reducing the risk that boards will face uh, with their own self-interest and increasing investor confidence. So uh, these were the few points which basically uh, emerged. And we see that the McKinsey rated the performance on corporate governance of each company based on the following parameters. Accountability, transparent ownership, board size, board accountability, and ownership neutrality. The second one is disclosure and transparency of the board. Timely and accurate disclosure by the independent directors and shareholder equality is on a one-to-one -one basis. So uh, again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is that companies with good corporate governance practices have high price to book values. Investors are willing to pay a premium for the shares of a well-managed and governed company. And this is the secret uh, recipe as a secret to the success of organizations at a local or at a global level. And therefore, it must be practiced properly. Uh, investors are willing to pay a premium of as much as 28% for shares of such a corporate governance-based uh, company. Companies in emerging markets often claim that Western corporate governance standards do not apply to them. So again, uh, when we are looking at emerging markets, then we see that there's a lot of innovation. There's a lot of uh, cutthroat competition. Uh, there is a lot of variance and there is a lot of creativity which tends to further augment and reinforce the, uh, the corporate governance environment which exists within different uh, countries and within different cities which is extremely important. Thank you so much.